welcome back to Zen 10 with Jackie Rose, CZT of Rejuvent Tangle. And we're on day two of this week. And we're going to start in with this section. All you need is your pen today. Let's take a nice deep breath in and out. Make sure you're feeling really relaxed. It's a great idea before you turn these recordings on to maybe sit for a few minutes and listen to some music that's very relaxing, or just be in quiet mode and just let everything go, empty out your mind. And now what we're gonna do is in the middle of this section, we're gonna draw a little tiny circle, or we can call it an orb or a round shape or a dot, but it's not really a dot because we draw it. So now what we're gonna do so we're going to do a, a bigger one on this dot. So we're going to do this nice big arc shape. Almost looks like an orb that's going behind it. Don't think too much. And we're going to do that again on the other side. And then we're going to do another one on either side. And then we're going to aura one side, and then we're going to give that another aura. It's kind of, it's not really an aura, it's just doing the same shape, a little bit bigger. And let's do that again on another side. So we're just kind of giving it a few layers. And we'll do that on the other side. And the other side. Nice and slow and relaxed, focusing on each stroke. Now in between these crevices here where they meet, we're gonna do that again. And we're gonna give it three rings this time, or three layers. Now these are all suggestions. You can put in as many layers as you want. And we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna just keep doing that in each little, we're gonna keep growing it till this whole section is filled up. So you can find any intersection there, any crevice, and just bring in some rings, some layers. You could put in two, three, four, five, it doesn't matter. Whatever feels good to you, and you can change it up for each one. There's no perfection in Zentangle. So just focus on each stroke, nice and slow and relaxed. I'm going to slow it down some more. Give each line that you draw, or each shape or stroke, that you draw, give it your undivided attention. And when I, what I mean by that is spend time with it. Don't rush through. So think of it as maybe a child who wants her, their mother's or father's attention. So give it some attention. Just spend time with it. Don't rush through. Pay attention to what you're doing. Letting go of the outcome so you're not So I was gonna say you're not focusing on what it looks like, you're just focusing on the actual pattern, the steps to the pattern, which is just drawing these arc shapes or round shapes. And yours is gonna look much different than mine, so don't try to make it look like mine. Listen to your inner artist. Make it your own. And the whole purpose of Zentangle is to just get the meditation benefits. So we want to go nice and slow and relaxed. And when we do that, our mind slows down. And when our mind slows down, we have clearer thinking. 
we're able to go through our day a little bit more calmly. We might be able to solve problems that we might be facing or decisions a lot easier. But most importantly, it's just we'll feel better. And Zentangle is fun. And when we relax, it just feels so good to draw without worrying about what it looks like. And remember, you can always go beyond the border, quite okay to go out of the lines. You can even go into another section. These lines are done in pencil for a reason. Mainly be gives us boundaries to work with so that we don't have to think about how far we're going to tangle that section. Because Zen Tangle is all about not thinking about anything. So the pencil helps us with that. And we don't always use a pencil for, we don't always put in a string. That's what this is called. When we put in our pencil, it's called a string. We don't always use it. So I put a cute little video on my Facebook page regarding mindfulness. It's just like two minutes long and it was, I found it on um, the internet or on YouTube and it really is adorable and it really explains in two minutes how powerful meditation is. And Zentangle is another form of meditation. And if you see lots of Zentangle out there with color or it's representational of something, meaning that it looks like something, then we call that Z-I-A, Zentangle Inspired Art. And it's not as meditative, but I'm sure it is for many. But, uh, but I teach it in a very meditative way as the, the whole uh, purpose of the whole method of Zentangle how it was meant to be. But even the founders teach ZIA. So ZIA is perfectly fat, wonderful, really is great. But that's when we start to focus on the outcome a little bit more. When Zentangle, we don't. We want to get that full meditative benefit. So there we have it. Mumsy. This is Mumsy. Great pattern. You can do lots of things with this pattern. You can change the shape. I've done Mumsy where it's pointy instead of um, round. So you can do lots of things like that. But, oh, look, I see a little space here. So I'm going to put that in there. So. Thank you for joining me today and have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow.